Hey, what's up, guys? I'm EDC Gunner, and uh, in the time of this wide worldwide panic of coronavirus and spread, I decided I want to review a proper shit hits the fan watch, military watch. If you have to bug out, you have to rely on one watch. I know we are watch guys who are talking. We have a collection of watches, but if you want just one watch that's gonna do everything for you and it's gonna take a beating and it's affordable under 100 bucks uh, militaries around the world. I You do a list what there's a lots of military watches, military style inspired watches, but let me tell you every soldier I know, uh, foreign or domestic, they buy G-Shocks and they wear G-Shocks. Why? Because they work. They're tough, they're rugged, they're reliable. And uh, today I have a G-Shock that's a MS. This is a MS, I heard it's a military style. So GD100 MS. So that's the that's the name of this G-Shock. There's no any fancy name. And uh, what I like about this piece uh, is this one's also under under bucks. It's it's around seventy bucks. I don't know, give or take. But I think it is worth every dollar. And I think every G-Shock is worth every dollar. I don't like those with analog hands along Anadigi ones. They look cool, they look nice, but they are not very useful and practical for a proper military style. So you can have a, just saying like you have a nice, fancy, shiny knife, but when you want something nice and practical, you go for something like this or something like this. This is a, but, okay, now I have, I digressed, sorry. So this is, a, MS. So this has military style. They come in black and green. This is a grenade green, and this is not um, this is not black version. This is dark green, like a grenade green, and uh, it has a negative display. Um, I prefer the old school display, but I you cannot deny it's cool, and uh, it has a red light, and uh, I've been told. I heard that red light is very easy uh, on the eyes of the in the, in the military, and it's kind of reminiscent of uh, E39 and older E46 and E36 uh, old BMWs dashboards. It's kind of reminiscent of that. It's red and it's cool, different. It's the first time I see this in a G-Shock. Usually, it's green or I don't know blue and this is super cool for me I love that and um, besides it's easy on the eyes and on the analog hands the illumination is just poor it's just terrible so this watch is 200 meter water resistance so it can you can throw it in the sink and wash it and you can throw it's a G-Shock you can throw anything at it and it will help you survive. And you never know, uh, right now, the first line of defense is the gloves, uh, some gloves, Purell and germ killers, soap. Uh, but you never know what's gonna be tomorrow and uh, if you want one watch, it's, gonna, it's tough as nails. It's rugged, it has it all. This is the one. And militaries and soldiers all over the world. If you are one soldier, do do tell me, do you wear G-Shocks or some other fancy watches? Because I think G-Shock is it. So it has world time, it has several times, uh, several cities, it has uh, alarms stopwatches and all that cool jazz that every g-shock has it does not have any special features like uh, sensors uh, altimeters barometers and stuff like that uh, those are a bit pricier g-shocks but this one uh, has everything that one 
that everyone needs and it's not gonna break your bank and I love it it's a cool color the module is 3263 and this, they printed module here usually on G-Shocks you can find modules uh, here in this frame 3263 and uh, yeah uh, very nice this G-Shock is a bit big it's 52 millimeters I across the diameter I saw it but it is very comfortable on the wrist and for some strange reasons with G-Shocks uh, they wear well this is a 50 millimeter plus watch and on my 18 and a half centimeter wrist just works good so it, the size is not a problem with this G-Shock uh, it has a double double holes here on the band and I I think it looks nice but it's a bit gimmicky and it weakens the structural integrity of the band so uh, just for purposes of just for purposes of aesthetics this works but the the single line of holes I think should be better uh, it has a even black dark buckle it's just a painted black so it's nothing special what i like about this g-shock and uh, this one i'm gonna keep in my collection usually i buy watches to review and i flip it and whatnot i'm gonna keep this one first of all i bumped it against the door frame here you can see this uh and it stood like a champ this bezel uh also uh i like the color it's dark green, it's a great nade color, grenade color, and uh, the light. The light is especially in the dark and uh, in the night, it's very good. And uh, definitely one of the G Shocks I can recommend. It has a plastic buttons here, very cool. And this is a bit of older version, around probably. 2011 till I don't know how many years but it's not the latest and greatest one but still I like it and I like the fact the analog hands G-Shocks look good but they are not functional uh, and everything I want from G-Shock is to be functional to be no-nonsense and rugged